I was watching my TV. It was a normal day at first. I was watching Boomerang to see some cartoons I used to love. My friends were over at my place discussing a web show we planned on making. We had been there for a few hours and I got hungry. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I told them. Do you want anything? No thanks, we're good. So I went to Taco Bell for some food, and see a guy who I thought was a homeless, towering in the corner. Hey, are you alright? I asked him. Take these away from me. He said and held out two creepy looking dolls. One was wearing a white dress that covered her face like a bride's gown, but its limbs were pale and covered in what I hoped was dirt. The other one wore a similar outfit, except the dress was black and so were the limbs. I didn't want to take them but he looked so terrified by them, I wasn't gonna make him keep them. I went home to find my friend's gun. Oh nice, they ditched me. I thought out loud. I didn't know what to do with the dolls so I put them on either side of my TV. When I looked at them I thought they'd make good Halloween decorations. I left to call my friends who ditched me, but they didn't answer. Idiots, I said to myself. I went into my room again to see my TV turned on but not with something I'd want to watch. The TV was playing Boomerang still but not the usual Flintstones or Huckleberry Hound. They were all like creepy pastas you'd read. I didn't want to watch this so I reached to turn it off, but one of the dolls smacked my hand away. I was startled. When I reached for the cable box the other doll smacked me too. I just wanted it to end. I tried to use the remote, but when I did, a message on the TV was saying, Come now, you don't want to stop here, you're getting to the best part. Then I heard a voice on the TV say, This is not a dream. Great. It's a nightmare. The word nightmare was said in a demonic voice. I couldn't turn it off so I was forced to watch creepypasta-like TV shows, like Elmer Fudd brutally murdering Bugs Bunny, or Jerry beating Tom to death with a bowl. Stop this! I yelled, then I reached for the back of the TV, both dolls flew at me but I slammed them on the ground and yanked every plug out of my TV. Then there was some silence. The dolls didn't move, the TV was off, all was good. I risked putting the plugs back in my TV and lucked out. The TV was normal. I took the dolls and burned them. They are gone but to this day, I still have nightmares. I have also never seen my friends since the incident.